One of the greatest scientists of the modern world, Albert Einstein, has inspired endless speculation, especially about his brain. Many believe that Einstein's extraordinary intelligence must have come from a massive brain. In reality, this is completely false. The average adult male brain weighs between 1400 and 1500 grams. During the autopsy, however, Einstein's brain weighed only about 1230 grams, well below the average. This means the common idea that Einstein's brain was unusually large is not just wrong, it's the opposite. It's also important to note that a larger brain doesn't automatically mean higher intelligence. For example, the blue whale has a much larger brain than humans, but it is not more intelligent. However, while Einstein's brain was slightly smaller than average, certain regions had structural differences that set it apart. For instance, in most people, the lateral sulcus, or sylvian fissure, is partially covered by a fold called the parietal opularum. In Einstein's brain, this fold was missing, allowing his parietal lobes to connect more extensively with other regions. They play a key role in spatial reasoning and mathematical problem solving. Einstein himself said he thought more in images than words. Research in 1984 by Marion Diamond found that the left parietal region of his brain had a higher number of glial cells than usual. These cells support neurons and help with signal processing. It's believed that years of intense mental activity may have caused this increase. In 2001, Dahlia Zeidel found asymmetry in Einstein's hippocampus, with neurons on the left side larger than the right, possibly enhancing his memory and analytical ability. While these features are fascinating, scientists caution that we cannot definitively say they caused his genius. Every human brain has unique differences. Einstein's abilities were likely the result of a combination of genetics, lifelong perseverance, environment, and relentless dedication, not just brain structure. After his death in 1955, a long mystery began around Einstein's brain. Thomas Harvey, the pathologist responsible for the autopsy at Princeton Hospital, secretly removed the brain without permission. It was later cut into roughly 240 pieces, with some sent to neuroscientists around the world for research. Einstein's son, Hans Albert, later consented to scientific study under certain conditions. For decades, Harvey kept the brain in his office, and only in 1978 did news of its existence become public. Gradually, research continued, and today, parts of Einstein's brain are preserved in institutions like the National Museum of Health and Medicine, with some slides on public display.